All right, guys, it looks like we did luck out and we got a game. Um, this is a, this is actually a hand that if you hit all your lands, we can play on curve. Let's keep it. All right, we gotta get a win here. I keep hearing about how good the blue-red Devoid deck is. And I want to, I want to believe So black, red, probably devoid, I would assume. And he's going to be ingesting pretty quickly on us, too. All right, so let's go ahead and play our island. And we'll just wait until the end of his turn to do anticipate. There's really not much need to do it right now. Our opponent could easily be on the mill plan at this point. Ooh, yuck. Did not want to lose that guy, but we don't have the mana for it now anyway. Here goes our island. And then we'll play our anticipate. Ooh, he's going to have a very aggressive deck. All right, look at all those. We'll take the mountain. So, yep, not much you can say that's wonderful about. I, how many lands would that have been, though? Three from the Anticipate. We had two that we've lost. Wow. All right, so Ruination Guide versus Nettle Drone here. Uh, I don't think it matters too much, honestly. I think Nettle Drone is the card that I'm willing to chump block with a little bit easier than the Ruination Guide, though. We are just going to look to stay alive, hopefully, through this barrage that our opponent is going to put on us. Yeah, we'll, we'll trade there. We can't just keep taking... I mean, we'd be at half-life at that point. Alright, so here, I mean, we could play Vestige of Immercool. Unfortunately, if our opponent plays one land, we can't even block profitably. I might just play the Salvage Drone and the uh, Ruination Guide here. Get a couple blockers out there. It really, it really sucks to use a Ruination Guide as a blocker, though. Definitely not hoping to do it. But I mean, it is turn four and we're at 12 life, so not a lot, a lot for us to do. I mean, we had a really good start in hand even. Our opponent just had a very aggressive, aggressive hand against us. Uh, so we could look to just trade. That might just be the only thing we can do. Um, or we, you know, maybe we take the four. And then we can play our Kozilek's Channeler next turn. So, I mean, we'll have a 5-4 on the board. Maybe we can just start 
salvaging this at this point. So we'll get the channeler out there. If we can just get our opponent to stop attacking one time, you know, we'll be able to play the rune processor next... No, nah, we don't even want it next turn, that's the problem. Alright, so the sludge crawler gets plus one, plus one. So we basically need... <laughs> wow. We almost need to block with our Kozilek's channeler on the craw sludge crawler to kill it. Because he can make this a 4-4. Four, four. Otherwise we block the predator and make him use his mana to, to make it a 4-4. Four, four. That might be the best option for us, unfortunately. Yeah. This way, if he wants to uh, pump his guy, hopefully he'll use all of his mana to do it. Yeah, just force his hand is what I was going for there. Our opponent did not realize that we were supposed to be the ones that were ingesting a lot of stuff. Alright, so... Just play out our Vestige and hope to live to next turn so we can gain some 5 life. We definitely had a, a decent draw here. We just got we just fell behind so early. That's unfortunately one of the things that you'll run into in limited formats. If your opponent is able to just play out on curve, <laughs> a lot of times they're tough to beat. We're not going to be able to ingest, I don't believe. We need to just live. And I want him to use his mana. I think we'd be better off this way. He's probably got a trick. I feel like white has some of the best tricks in the format. Yeah, I want to see him using that mana on that sludge crawler. And I actually don't want to use... Uh, I guess I could. No. I actually want the two cards in my hand. I do not want to discard anything. So, here we go. Ingest action. There we go. That's what we want to see. All right. Whew. I probably could have attacked with the Vestige of Emmercool there, but uh, I was a bit nervous if you couldn't tell. And now I think we'll just go ahead and... Okay, so he's got enough mana, he can make one of his guys a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I think we just attack him with our big guy. We 
don't really need to play any lands. I don't remember any cards in our deck that um, would benefit from it. I guess other than like Rolling Thunder, maybe. With him playing that, it means they can't pump his guys big enough to attack through. Molten Nursery is fine. It's not exactly the type of card I was looking to get there. I'm looking for our opponent to, yeah, at least chump a little bit. Alright, so we got him down to 9 to 9. That Sludge Crawler has been pretty impressive as far as uh, limited format from what I've seen so far. You wouldn't think he'd be too exciting. Alright, so he can pump it four times. So it'll be a 5-5. Five, five. I think we just double block. Make him use his mana. <clears throat> and even if it's just a 5-5, five, five, or if, even if it's a 5-5, five, five, it's only going to take out one of our guys. There we go. That is one of the cards we really want to see. We probably should have just attacked in with both there. I forgot that this goes to creature. So if we did and we played this sky spotter uh, next or afterwards, we could finish off his vestige. But we're in a we're in a pretty commanding spot here. And we actually finish him anyway. All right, sweet. Whew, that was a tough one. I was kind of thinking I lost that pretty early on there. Um, so definitely a fast deck that we're going against here. Uh, the question is whether we have enough time to to get to our stuff. I do kind of feel like maybe taking out the Kozilek's Channeler and bringing in a earlier earlier creature. Um, I guess the question is whether Coral Helm Guide is better than either a Valakut Invoker or a Stone Waker. The Invoker might actually be the better option just because it's got the, the three toughness. Um, but it does come, come down a turn later and we've got a decent amount of three drops. So I think I'm just going to try it this way. Uh, I mean, Boiling Earth might be okay against a really fast deck, but I didn't see a ton of one toughness creatures, I guess. Alright. Um, not the most exciting start, but uh, we've been full of unexciting starts so far in it. Wait, it hasn't done well for us. Maybe this time. Oh. Yep. Hitting those lands like we uh like we know what we're doing.
gross. I'd like to say I, I don't want to see any more lands, but unfortunately we need we need more mountains. Yeah, I think if we tried to go like hyper aggro against our opponent's deck, we would just get slaughtered even worse. I think that's the unfortunate part here. Uh, we don't want the graveyards, we want the exiles. Oh my goodness. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> off to a great start. I have a feeling that you guys are gonna be in for a round three. Or game three. <laughs> oh, yuck. Oh, our opponent must have accidentally uh, clicked right on through their attack phase there, which is fine by me. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and... I'm going to kill the v Predator, I think. Actually, the Anu Champion is a 4-3 all the time. This... Predator is only a 4-4 when he hits, um, so it's actually better to kill the champion. Well, so we can ping our opponent. And then we just hope, hope to God that we can, I don't know, get a mountain, I suppose. If we're, if we're going to keep drawing lands, we'd like mountains. Because we are at a spot where we'll be close. Oh, there's our mountain. Just got exiled. We are close. Oh, there's one. Um, close to a spot where we could basically clear our opponent's board. Wait, can we hold off, though? Right now, if he hits a land drop, we take seven damage down to five. And then next turn we can kill most of his stuff. Or do we just kill it right now? Our opponent's out of cards. <clears throat> if he misses a land drop, we take five or six damage. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bit daring here. Mm, that is pretty awful. Yeah, daring did not pay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're really looking bad here. Are we dead? Down to four. All right, so we can play Rolling Thunder, and then basically just need our opponent to not get a Devoid card. Play a land. If he plays a land and attacks in, we are able to play a rune processor. Or just, yeah, there we go. Alright. We are, we're still in this. Alright, we are making a game of it. <laughs> Those room processors have been saving our butts this time. What? No! Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we can do that. But he does get a creature, unfortunately. Ooh, there we go. All right, so what would be better? A nettle drone definitely is not better. Now let's play the big guy, I think. I 
unfortunately we can't really attack safely here. Maybe next turn, but we need to we need to hold back our guys right now. Alright, so 3-2 gives this guy's haste. Yeah, our opponent just went with the uber aggressive uh, Black Red, which is a deck that I've really been wanting to play. But I haven't I haven't uh, found the right draft to to draft that one yet. I suppose if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and go all in whenever I see a forerunner or slaughter. Alright, so he's gonna he's gonna make the big attack. All right, so we're definitely going to take out one of his, I think the processor wants to take out the Forerunner, and if we take the Wind Rider on his Sentinel, we take five damage, all of our guys live, his die. And I mean, I don't know if there's much of a difference whether we take, whether we go to two or to one. I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, he ingested our Blight Herder. Kind of hurts. Oh my gosh. I don't have any ingesters. It would be so nice to have one right now. But I think we'll just go ahead and uh, play this guy out. I don't have any cards to ingest, unfortunately. And our opponent scoops. All right. Well, that last game made me, made me somewhat of a believer. I do think it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button. Give us some comments. Let us know if you... Think it's good, bad, whatever. Let me know how I blew this uh, blew this draft. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. This is Josh with Basement Level Magic, and we'll see you next time.